Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server amateur or bucket spigot plug-in tutorial. If you're for the first time, feel free to subscribe out because I do these every week. If you have suggested one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment in the jibbles below. I'll give you a shout out like this one person who suggested this week's plugin. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more at the end of it. This is called Per World Inventories as the Multiverse Inventories is no longer supported. This is a great substitute for that. It is made by Nat008. And if you are using Multiverse Inventories, you've already had it all set up and you wanna switch over to this, keep running Multiverse Inventories and then you just do PWI convert multiverse now he's also provided going to add support for other multi inventory plugins in order to convert over to this which is really cool but this one works for mvi but you have to be running mvi 2.5 not 2.4 so make sure you're running that it has to be running at the same time that you're running per world inventories now in order for per, per world inventories to work you're going to know pwi help and it's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot you could do in the game. All of it's done in the configuration. It also splits up uh, economies between worlds, which is really cool. There's some limitations of that because it won't restrict paying other players in other worlds. So you, you can easily get around that. Um, and then I'm guessing that third-party plugins also will bypass it. So chess shops and stuff like that. doesn't matter what world they are in, they'll get paid. So it's a real simple multi-economy solution. I'd rather check out last week, but it does have an option built in, which is really cool. Some of the permissions here, everything's pretty much set up by default. But if you want to kind of play with it, give some perks to other people, you got perworldinventory.admin.convert, which gives you an option to that access to that convert command dot reload dot set default so you can actually set inventory default so if there's ever an issue or problem the the system will just automatically revert to this default setting or default inventory so if you don't want it to be completely nothing you want it like a basic starter thing or something like that you can put that in there you got dot notify that's going to give you option to see when an update's available then you got bypass dot star bypasses both game world um and world uh inventories and then you could do dot game mode or dot world to allow players to bypass that stuff but like i said it's all done in the config so let's jump over there and take a look all right so here we are in the server like you can see we're running 10.2 and it works great so we're going to fire up plugins folder and then you can see we have the per world inventory so we're going to go into per world inventory and then we're just going to open up config.yml and then um and then we'll look at worlds as well so here we are in the config pretty straightforward in here you can manage game modes in here whether so you can set it in the worlds file what the game mode is for that particular world you can do that in here which is pretty cool you can even just turn off separate inventories if you don't want it to do that and then uh here's where you can set the economy to true in here in order to um to split inventories then you can set what gets split between the different groups in here it's great gets up and goes uh, i really like this so we're going into worlds and then uh this is all set in there by default this is a default world than anything or these worlds are sharing your economies and then inventory saturation uh hunger all that stuff is going to be shared between these worlds and then outside of those worlds they're not going to be sharing anything they're all going to be individual unless you go ahead and create a new group so i created a new group called tutorial with the world's list and then the default game mode for those is survival i could change that to creative but we're going to leave that in survival and i'll let's jump back in i'll show you guys what that looks like all right, here we go. No surprise, we're gonna do money. We got a whole lot of money. You can see we have a bunch of inventories there. We're gonna go MVTP world. We're gonna go back to the main world. Now you can see that our money is $10 in here, which is a different setting than the other one. And you can see that our inventory is cleared. So if we actually go MVTP a sky block, or it's kingdoms, right? You can see we have all those inventories and our money is at 36,000. So that's basically how it works. It shares it between those different groups. Real simple for you guys. Just kind of gets up and goes. Real quick and easy for you guys. Hopefully this helps you out in separating economies as well as separating inventories as multiverse inventories is no longer. So please leave a like. Let me know what you guys are thinking. This is Kaz. Remind you guys all. Enjoy the game. God bless. Oh.